During this presentation, we will focus on two main areas of the barn environment, ventilation and temperature. The quality of the barn environment impacts the pig's well-being as well as their performance. Ventilation and temperature are two distinct but related topics. Temperature is important since both heat and cold stress have a negative effect on average daily gain and feed conversion. Humidity changes the thermal sensation and can influence the level of bacteria and virus challenges present. Ventilation focuses on using air exchange to control the level of gases and humidity. Ventilation can impact temperature, but needs to be adequate no matter what the temperature is. Power ventilated barns have three main parts to the ventilation system. Fans to move out the air carrying dust, moisture, and gases. Inlets that distribute the fresh air that the fans are pulling into the barn and the soffit and attic vents that allow fresh air to enter the attic so it is available to the inlets. Soffits and attic vents need to be cleaned so air flow isn't restricted to the inlets. Inlets should evenly distribute fresh air to the pigs. The speed of the air passing through the inlet needs to be correct to ensure the cool air entering mixes correctly with the warm air in the room. The goal for inlet air speed is 600 to 800 feet per minute to ensure correct mixing before the air reaches the pig level and to avoid drafts that can chill the pigs. Air speed that is too low or too high results in poor air mixing and can cause cold air at the pig level. Poor air mixing results in incorrect humidity, dust, and gas removal. Air speed at the inlet is maintained by the inlet opening wider as fan power increases. Ventilation operates in phases, with each stage adding more fan power, which requires inlets to open wider to maintain the target air speed of 600 to 800 feet per minute. The temperature difference between each stage of fan power is called bandwidth. Many barn designs use ceiling inlets during cooler weather and tunnel ventilation during hot weather. Tunnel ventilation moves a larger amount of air through the building and creates higher air speed at the pig level to provide additional cooling effect. The fans pull out the dust, gases, and humidity. A curtain at the opposite end of the barn from the fans raises and lowers to regulate the air speed entering the barn, which helps maintain the correct air mixing and cooling effect. An evaporative cooling pad may be used to cool the incoming air. Nursery rooms may also use tunnel ventilation during hot weather. Because nursery barn designs frequently consist of several smaller rooms, either a curtain or wall inlets may be used to regulate the air speed during tunnel mode. When cooling pads are used, there is generally a walkway or alley between the cooling pad and the wall inlet or curtain. Just as with ceiling inlets, airspeed entering into a tunnel ventilated barn needs to be correct at the curtain or wall inlets to ensure good air mixing. Even though pigs don't sweat, the speed of the air moving over the pigs in tunnel ventilation helps cool them off so long as the air temperature is lower than the pig's temperature. For efficient operation, cooling pads need to have a lower air speed than the air entering through the curtain or wall inlets. Since the recommended speed through a cooling pad is 350 to 400 feet per minute, the cooling pad area is larger than the total area of the inlet opening into the barn or room. Just as with ceiling inlets, to maintain the correct air speed at the tunnel curtain or inlets, the size of the opening needs to be larger as the fan power or number of fans operating increases. 
The airspeed entering the barn and flowing over the pigs is important for pig comfort. If the airspeed is too low, there will be too much rise in temperature and humidity from the inlet to the fans. When the airspeed is too high, it can chill the pigs. Gas levels that are too high result in poor performance and can impact welfare. Eye, nose, or throat irritation or a headache may indicate that gas levels are too high and should be reported to your supervisor. The ventilation system depends on fans to move air out so fresh air can enter. Extraction problems can be caused by a variety of things, such as wrong controller settings, dirty fans and louvers, wind interference, maintenance problems, as well as fan power or capacity. Air speed that is too low results in incorrect air mixing and poor ventilation both with ceiling inlets and in tunnel ventilation. As already mentioned, for the system to work correctly, air needs to enter through the inlets at the correct speed. Fresh air distribution problems can be caused by wrong inlet or curtain opening, dirty inlets, maintenance problems, fan power, and infiltration, which is uncontrolled entry of air. Power ventilated barns need a plentiful supply of fresh air. A soffit or attic opening that is too small, dirty, or blocked will rob the system of air and result in poor ventilation. Different weight pigs need different temperatures to be comfortable. The desired room temperature depends on the weight of the pigs, type of building and flooring, health status, and with recently weaned piglets, the tools that are used to create a comfort zone. Based on the characteristics of the comfort zone, the desired room temperature can be lowered to save energy during cold weather because the piglets have a place to rest that fits their needs. For example, barns with concrete slats need to be warmer than ones with plastic flooring. A solid rubber or plastic mat with 0.4 square feet per pig allows the desired room temperature to be 2 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. By adding a brooder, the desired room temperature can be lowered an additional 6 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit. Now time for a little participation. What are reasons for low air speed at the inlets? Missing louvers, open door, or dirty fans? All three can be reasons for low inlet air speed. Several factors are considered when determining the desired room temperature. Identify the five factors that are listed below. Pig weight, health status, floor type, weather, ventilation system, mat use, feeder type, brooder use. The correct answer is pig weight, health status, floor type, mat use, and brooder use. Three key points to remember on barn environment. First, airspeed at inlet, curtain, and cooling pad is a key ventilation indicator. Second, humidity level should be less than 65%. And third, Ventilation settings are based on pig weight, bandwidth, and the desired room temperature. This is a partial list of additional wean to finish resources available from PIC. For more information, visit our website, www.pic.com. The recommendations presented in this video are general in nature and are not meant to replace established farm protocols. Each farm should have procedures in place that have been approved by their wean to finish manager. As always, thanks for watching.